getting under the skin of a C5 really gives you an appreciation for the engineering. The paint alone is 2,600 pounds, but when you have that removed, you can see all the rivets and fasteners it's actually used to put this thing together. When you add them up, it's over 1.6 million. To really appreciate the size of a C5, you've got to get inside. This cargo compartment measures 19 feet wide, 13 and a half feet tall, and over 143 feet long, which is longer than the Wright brothers' first powered flight at Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. This allows a C5 to carry more troops and supplies than any other airlifter in service today. The cargo hold was the breakthrough that won Lockheed the contract, but building it was a serious challenge. To begin with, access. Giant cargo needed a giant opening. But the front of any plane is blocked by the cockpit. The solution? A nose cone that swings up to become a massive door. It's called the visor. I've seen this open and close 20 times. It's still an amazing feat of engineering. 20 feet wide, and weighing in at over 6,500 pounds. The visor swings up 65 degrees to clear the cargo bay and sit above the cockpit during loading. At the rear, another colossal door, 23 feet long and 18 feet wide, creating an open-ended drive-on, drive-off cargo hold the size of a bowling alley. So this is the back end of the cargo bay. And just to give you an appreciation for how big this is, you could actually fit 58 Cadillacs inside of there. The C-5 was the only aircraft that could deliver two 65-ton battle tanks directly into a theater of war. It could also transport mobile bridges, armored personnel carriers, troop trucks, and just about anything an armored brigade would need on its deployment. It was a game changer for U.S. military long-distance operations. The visor was a creative solution to one of the problems of building a plane on this scale. 